guys, this is Smithy. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very special one. We're going to talk everything about the Flourish collection. We have a palette, we have a blush, we have some single shadows, we have a lip gloss, everything to try in action and you can see it on my face how it looks. We're going to do three looks today. Two with the Flourish palette and one with the Moon Dust in the collection where I combine both the Flutter and the Flourish palette. I've already done a video with the Flutter collection already on the channel. If you want to see that, it's in the eye cards above for you guys. But if you're ready, let's begin. Okay, let's start off with the first look using the Flourish palette. I've not used this yet. Look how pretty it looks. I've only swatched it, but we'll do light swatches, so don't you worry. Okay, let's start off with this orange shade and then we'll take it into this hot pink shade. That looks fun. Okay, so I'm first taking that flourish shade, which is that pastel -y orange shade. It's definitely different than the other orange uh, from the Flutter palette. If you've not seen that video, I'll link it in the eye cards above for you guys. Because I did use a Flutter palette in the previous video. And look how stunning this is. This is definitely a little bit more deeper as compared to the Flutter palette orange because that was pastel pink. And this is like a regular orange, I would say. Not pastel pink, pastel orange. So you can see that. It's like a mid-tone orange, I would say. Definitely a great grey shade. At least for my skin tone. Now going into this pink paradise shade. Which is more of that hot pink shade. And I'm going to take that. Mix it with that. A little bit of orange. And take it in the outer portion of the eyelid. So it's mainly going from orange to pink. We'll deepen it out in just a minute. There you go. So you have, you can see that gradient happening. Now let's take the shade Kaligna, this one. The only deeper shade that we have in the palette. I'm going to take that in the extreme outer corners of the eye look. Just so that we have the depth that we are looking for. I like a good deepened outer corners. Even if it's not that dramatic, I want a little bit of depth right there. If you want more of that punchiness, I would ask you to use a white primer or a white base. But I want a more of a softer look here. So that's why without the primer. For the lower lash line, before we go into the uh, lid, let's take that same Caligna shade, the deeper shade on the outer corners of the lower lash line just to melt everything together and then I'm going to take this yellow shade begonias on the lower lash line and melt it with that shade now I'm going to take this shade Dahlia Magic this one and I'm going to take this shade which is Nectar right next to, or should we Let's start with Dahlia Magic because I'm very sure about that. It's like a hot fiery pink shade with a ton of orange specks to it. The stunning and radiant it is. It actually does remind me of a shade from the Strawberry Moon palette. We'll definitely compare it. Okay, I'm going to take this Buttercup Bliss shade, this yellow shimmery shade. Let's do that. And I'm going to start off that with a inner corner. Oh, that looks... It's like a yellow to a pink. That's such a stunning shade. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. For the inner third of the lid, I'm going to take actually this shade, Sunbeam. Let's take that. It's like a beautiful orangey shade and I'm gonna just smoothen it out with my fingers it's so bright really pretty like if you're looking for like a golden shade like a champagne shade this is so pretty I'm gonna dip back into that Dahlia magic shade the pink like that fiery pink and just melt it together just like that that looks so pretty i love it that's what we are going to do on this eye look let me finish off this eye with some liner and mascara so we have our eyes all completed i'm going to finish off with this 
single multichrome from the flourish collection and I'm going to take that a very little bit because it's super chunky this is the one that would require like smoothening out shade so I'm going to just spray this I'm going to take a little bit on the lower lash line just for a tiny bit of sparkle. So that's my first eye look. I love how fiery and warm tone it looks. It doesn't look like over the top like neon or anything, but it is very, very fun. Now let's move on to the second eye look because we're gonna play with some greens, right? You know how excited I get, right? <laughs> okay, I feel like we should start with the darker shade now. So I'm gonna start with Caligna and I'm gonna take that on the outer corners just tapping it right there i'm not worried about blending or anything right now just looking for some depth i'm going to take the same shade on the outer corners of the lower lash line too now i'm going to take this shade thistle this one and then we are going into this green shade in the inner corners so first let's start off with thistle which is that purpley pink orchid shade I'm taking a little bit of Anastasia primer right there just so that you can see the effect of that green on top of the white primer. It's not like a white base by any means but it just evens it out and because it's a lighter tone it will act like a whiter base. I'm just putting a little bit a tad bit over the inner portion of the eyelid just like that you can see the brightness happening there right right there now i'm gonna take that green uh, petal pop this one and i'm taking it on a looser fluffier brush if you want like a lot of impact you just use like a, a thicker or a denser brush right there see how much it pops more as compared to like if it was straight on my um, skin tone. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to take the same thistle shade and blending it out on my lower lash line right there. Okay. Okay. Now for the shimmers, I want to take this fairy flutter shade as well as this shade that we did not use. So let's do that. I feel like Oh, we have not used Garden Glow also. Oh my God, that would be stunning too. Okay, let's do Garden Glow. I feel like that would be so pretty because it will pop so much more. Oh, look at that. So I'm taking Garden Glow on the majority of the eyelid. It's a beautiful blue to a purple teal shade. Very pretty very glowing too. Going back into that Caligna shade, the darker shade, the deeper shade in the palette and then just going over the edges because we definitely don't want any harsh lines or skipping happening. I'm just patting over the edges. Now for the inner third of the eyelid, let's take the shade Nectar. Looks like a pinky orange but I also can see like a purple reflex happening. I'm going to take that on the inner third of the eyelid. Just using my finger to melt it out together. There you go. That's so pretty. So pretty. So bright. <laughs> okay. So there's only one shade that we not used. This one, the Fairy Flutter shade. And it is like a little bit more like a creamier texture. I don't think that's apt for the inner corners. So I am going to take, how about we take this Buttercup Bliss shade again? Yeah, Buttercup bliss and i'm gonna take that in the inner corners yeah that just flows so well as an inner corner shade that's just stunning i love it okay let me finish off this eye with some liner and mascara so that's my second eye look i love how fairy and ethereal the other eye looks it came out so well together and i cannot wait to see like what 
all looks i can create like more with it because it's fun colorful but it's so wearable too i don't feel like out of place i am more not into like neons or anything but this is i feel like i can rock this look <laughs> okay let's finish it off with the blush in the collection and that is the flourish blush and this looks very very deep very deep <laughs> so we're gonna apply that very lightly with our real techniques blush brush um so i'm gonna take a tad bit it's like a raspberry pink shade which i feel like with the eye looks it'll go really well together i'm just not like digging my brush into it like that softness is amazing so i'm just taking like one look and then just melting it out so i definitely can wear this shade just go with like a lighter brush really pretty so that's how the blush is looking i feel like it's very very nice like very unique tone to my collection at least because i gently do not tend to use these kind of shades but it, it works so 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 well so well you see all the like swatches and all combined in some of the video like i think i swatched this in the flutter video uh, but let me give you like a swatch here so that you have an idea of how it rolls so that's the flourish blush of course i am blending it out because that's how you'll see it in the on the face but let me give you a double dip so that you can see the color in action so there you go that's the flourish blush you can see it's like a raspberry pink shade but on the cheek you can see how it rolls really pretty especially with that eyeshadow palette it goes really well together uh, let me also swatch the two single eyeshadows that came with this this one the orangey goldeny shade is the shade hibiscus so let's swatch that i can definitely see that orange gold a little bit of green also i would say let's watch it very pretty that's stunning i definitely can see pink and green at my end and you see orange can you see that extreme multi-chrome and very shiny that's beautiful cannot wait to wear that like all across the eyelid with just like a deepening shade and a crease shade Ugh, stunning it will be uh, the next shade the goldeny shade that we have in this collection is called monarch this one it looks like a yellow gold shade i don't know if it has a shift or not but it looks very sparkly looks like yellow gold orange so let's watch that extremely smooth again so let's give it a swatch so pretty so that's monarch very very shiny okay let's also swatch the lip gloss that came in this collection and this also is like a multi chrome lip gloss it's very shiny very shifty this is how the lip gloss looks if you like a fun lip gloss this should have your name all across it i see purple pink green blue like an extreme i could wear this as an eyeshadow like it's so so dimensional comes with a big doe foot applicator and let me swatch it right there i see green reflects a lot in the swatch So that is the lip gloss in the collection and this is the flourish lip gloss. Now let's move on to swatching the palette for you guys because I know you guys love that. So let's do that. Uh, let's swatch all the mattes together and then all the shimmers together. So begonias, thistle, flourish, pink paradise. Let's do that. Such a fun palette it is. Especially for summer, it's amazing. A travel size neon palette, if you need it, this is the palette for you. But also, you can customize this palette because all of the pans are like magnetic, so you can customize it. Then we have the shade Petal Pop and Kaligna. Love a good deepening shade with all these fun shades, just to make it more wearable, more grounded. So those are the mattes of the palette. 
look how fun it is how colorful it is how bright it is very very pretty now let's move on to the fun part where it's all multi chromes and shiny shifty things so let's start off with the dahlia magic nectar garden glow buttercup bliss look how shiny shiny and shifty it is very pretty okay where are we doing it Oof, very pretty some a little more opaque than the others but beautiful nonetheless let's actually swatch the rest of the two shades too and then i'll show the entire palette so then we have fairy flutter and sunbeam oh my that's beautiful i don't even know how to show you okay so those are the shimmers in the palette very shifty very radiant very beautiful and that's the entire flourish collection for you guys it's really really pretty very very stunning it's fun it's colorful it's vibrant let me show you all these swatches in the outside lighting too so that you can see all the shifts the dimensions everything in action so that you can make your a precise decision whether you need this collection in your collection or not now it's time to do the comparison i know i feel like out of everything that i own uh, from ensley rain i feel like the closest is the strawberry moon palette uh, but also i'll compare it with the cosmic dreamer palette which was the uh, recent release before this uh, but let's go with the strawberry moon palette so this is how strawberry moon palette was and this is the flourish palette so let's let's do this so those are the palettes in together if you felt like strawberry moon palette was a lot for you i feel like flourish palette is a great option to have in the collection but let me swatch the similar shades in the palette because then you'll exactly know if you do have the strawberry moon palette do you actually need it or not uh, let's start off with that pastel pink shade which is begonias in the flourish palette and we also have a yellow here which is mon Bretier. but mon Bretier is definitely more pastel leaning can you see that there is a tone difference for sure so let's do here there you go so you can see that's the difference and i'll definitely say that that is different enough one is more pastel one is like a true yellow. Then we have this shade, we'll do all the mattes together, Thistle, which is that purpley pink shade in the palette. And let's combine that with Zinnia, which is also a purpley pink. So this is from Flourish. And this is from the Strawberry Moon. Again, there's a tone difference. The Strawberry Moon is definitely more punchier in this case okay the next shade is the orange i feel like that orange is definitely different let's do pink paradise which is that hot pink actually let's do flourish also don't worry the flourish is the orange in the palette and i'm gonna uh, swatch it against poppy so this is from the flourish palette and this is poppy in the strawberry moon palette definite difference for sure and then we are going to do pink paradise from the flourish palette against summer love from the strawberry moon palette both of them are like a hot pink shade this is from flourish and this is from strawberry moon i would say this is pretty close to each other and then the deeper shade in the palette or the green in the palette is definitely different so there's nothing common in that uh, let's do the shade move on to the shimmers we'll do dahlia magic this shade reminded me of the radiant shade from the strawberry moon palette so let's do that so this is from flourish this is from strawberry moon i would say the strawberry moon shade is much lighter and more orangier you see that i'll try and uh, build it up a little bit 
I would still say the tones are way different from each other. Then let's go into the next shade, which is Nectar. The Nectar shade against the Sun Kissed shade. But I would say they are totally different. Nectar shade definitely has a lot more like purple in it. And this is way different. Way different to each other. What else? Mm, I think that is it. I think that is it. Those are the comparison swatches, I would say, from the Strawberry Moon palette. Now let's see if there's anything that compares to the Cosmic Dreamer palette. Let's do it this way. So that's Cosmic Dreamer and that's Flourish. The only thing that I see is that orangey shade and the hot pink shade. I can swatch it for you guys. Uh, the hot pink here is Visionary and Miraki. Nothing else. Maybe Caligna and Spicy are together. So these are all from the Cosmic Dreamer palette. So let's do it here. All of this from Cosmic Dreamer. Let me wipe my brush, wipe my fingers. <laughs> And then let's do Pink Paradise, Flourish, and Caligna from the Flourish palette. So we'll do Pink Paradise, Flourish, and Caligna. All of them have a tone difference, if you can see. Similar enough, but there is a Quite a bit of tone difference, I would say. This is definitely much more neon and this is very bright. Yeah, these are all like neon-y shade and this deeper shade has a hint of purple in it as compared to this, which one is brown. So those were the comparison swatches from the other two palettes from Ensley Rain. Rest everything looks quite different in my collection from Ensley Rain. Uh, I hope that this helps. Uh, I literally feel like these are such fun palettes to have in the collection, especially because of their sizes. I'm hoping that their prices would be a lot less than the original uh, palette prices just because the others are like 21 eyeshadow palette and these are like 12 pan. I love the packaging. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. If you ask me, I... Uh, prefer a little bit more of the flutter palette as compared to the flourish palette not saying that the flourish did not give me because the looks that came out of the flourish was absolutely wonderful but the color story that speaks to me more is the flutter palette just because i feel like i wear that much more than the flourish palette and that's just me but the quality is right up there i can see myself like mixing and matching these palettes together even the other palettes because I love a good magnetic palette and Ensley Rain does give it to us every time. I'm also going to do a third look using the Moon Dust shades in the collection because we have quite a few Moon Dust and I'll put a video on the screen for you guys so that you can see all of it in action, how it sparkles, shines. So let's move on to the next look. Okay, let's do a final look combining both the palettes because now you've seen both the eye looks from the flutter palette as well as the flourish palette now let's combine it together because i feel like these two combined together can also create so much beautiful looks let me show it to you both of it like together so it's like a neutral plus colorful but mixed together it'll be amazing amazing i also want to showcase their moon dust because i feel like it's definitely underrated i definitely want to focus because i feel like these moon dust are so sparkly so elegant looking so finely milled i absolutely love the effect on the eyes so let's do that okay so for the mattes i, I am going to start with this shade flicker this gray blue shade and i'm gonna take that in the inner part of the crease it's i don't even know is it like a gray blue is it like a gray green but it has like some kind of a tint to it right there i'm just gonna focus that on the inner portion of the crease just right there Let's dip into Flourish palette and we're going to take this shade, Thistle, 
which is more of like um is it pink is it a purple i don't know and this will be the blending shade for the next shade that we're gonna put in that's melting very nicely so because it's like a blending shade for the next shade i am gonna just keep it on the outer side of the crease so once we have that all covered okay now let's dip into the other palette we're going back and forth <laughs> let's take the shade wisp for this muted purple gray shade and i'm gonna take that in the starting from the outer corner but blending it into the crease melting it with that gray blue shade just like that can you see that i love that there's so much that you can do with these like small palettes the color story absolutely breathtaking i definitely feel like there's something for everyone here and if you've not seen i've already done a video with the flutter palette and actually the flutter collection so if you want to check that out i'll link it in the icons above for you guys okay going into a smaller brush going back into that wisp shade that we just applied on the lower lash line now for the extreme outer corners because i like a good depth on the outer corners i'm gonna go into this kaligna shade this one from the flourish palette and just place that in the extreme outer corners just right there i just want a little bit of tap it's just so that there's a hint hint of depth there just like that okay now the fun part let's dip into some moon dust but before that i'm going to put like a little bit of tacky base on my eyelids for that i'm taking this glimmer grass from unearthly cosmetics i feel like this works so beautifully so i'm just going to take a tad bit like a little bit and i'm going to take that right there all across the center of the eyelid just so that we can minimize the fallout now the thing is which one should we use because there are six in the collection i absolutely love two two of them are definitely my favorite actually three are my very favorites uh fairy meadow which is like a blue leaning but a very neutral shade with like transparent base with like blue sparkles and this is more like green leaning but again not too much very transparent it's amazing and this is more like a pink iridescent shadow all three of these are absolutely amazing so for today how about fairy meadow fairy meadow and maybe fluttering fantasy i think that would be amazing you know what let's do a pop of yellow in the inner corners so i'm gonna take this shade begonias begonias this one and i'm gonna take that right there just to give a little bit more brightness and fun to the eye look how stunning that is it just popped everything and brightened everything out that's that's all that i need okay now what are we doing okay let's start off with fairy meadow this is such a stunning shade such a stunning shade i'm just taking a little bit on the back of the cap and i'm just tapping my brush and i'm using like a i don't even know it's a wet and wild old brush it's like a flat but denser chubbier brush so i'm gonna take that look how stunning oh my gosh this is amazing cannot even describe how beautiful it looks and i'm just gonna tap it right there you don't need much i want a scattered effect if you want more of an opaque effect what you should do is take like a denser brush like this and then spray it with like a setting spray hopefully with like glycerin in it and you'll get so much like opaqueness I want a scattered look because I that's what I love about these moon dust. That's a stunning shade. I hope you can see there's a purple pink 
uh, shiftiness that's happening. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Now going into fluttering fantasy, which is that iridescent pink multichrome. Taking the same brush because this works beautifully for me. And whatever is left over will just mix. Uh, taking whatever is on the back of the cap, tapping off the excess. I'm just taking that right there. And you can see that iridescent pink coming through. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. That's so stunning. That's beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna take one more moon dust just because we popped the yellow in the inner corners. I have a yellow moon dust here, which is daffodil. I'm gonna take that very tiny bit. I'm gonna place that right there. Just. Uh, wrapping everything out i didn't have any glitter glue right there so it's definitely much more looser there so keep that in mind i'm gonna finish off this eye with some liner and mascara and i'll get right back my eye look is all complete let's finish off with the blush i'm gonna mix both the blushes from the flourish as well as the flutter collection so let's start off with the flourish one i know it looks so intimidating especially because of the shade i'm just gonna tap off the excess but that just tells me that all the skin tones can use this shade. I'm just gonna take a light bit and then just, it's a beautiful like raspberry pink shade and that goes really well with the eye look. But I'm gonna mix both of them together just to see what the customized look looks like. And then I'm taking Flutter, which is more peachy. I'm gonna take that. Tap off the excess. And that makes it like a hot pink. But wearable hot pink. You know what's the best part? I don't see any fallout. That's A++ in my opinion. So let me show you my final look. I really love all the looks that I created. From the Flutter palette, from the Flourish palette and with the Moon Dust. I absolutely love it. Yes, I've not used all the moon dust. I, I used only three and there are three more to go, but I have swatched everything and I am well aware of their moon dust because I have several more in my collection. Uh, these are the only three that I did not use, out of which this moonlit garden, I cannot wait to use this because that just swatch out of this world gorgeous. I definitely, out of the six that I have, I would highly recommend moonlit garden if you are more of a green lover but you love a muted green like an everyday green moon dust this moonlit garden shade is amazing and fairy meadow if you love that blue iridescent blue purple shade you will absolutely love it like that is those two are definitely my favorites but now you've seen all the collection in action I feel like the only thing that I am not a big fan of is the lip glosses. You didn't see me apply it just because I would not wear it, uh, but you saw me like swatch it and it swatches beautifully. I'm well aware of that lip gloss formula. It lasts for a long time. It wears very nicely. I would keep this for like special occasion, like Halloween or like dressing up or anything like that because it's like a multi-chrome. I definitely want Ensley Rain to come out with more lip gloss formula, which is more everyday friendly, which is not like super sparkly or multi chrome but just a regular formula. I love their formula. I'm just not a big fan of their shades. <laughs> just being super honest. But talking about the entire collection, the blushes A++, absolutely A++, I absolutely loved it. The single shadows, they're so gorgeous and so beautiful. This shade, so sparkly, actually everything, everything. This one was amazing, even this green was stunning, stunning. I've not used that golden shade, so I don't know, uh, but generally speaking, stunning formula uh, and the palettes definitely my favorite i don't know which one is my favorite i am definitely a little bit more of a neutral wearer so i like the flutter palette more than the flourish palette but it's totally on the preference because they both have an amazing formula it's just that the flutter definitely flutters my heart like it is so me i love i love that i can wear this all across like all around the year. And I can pair this like, like a pop of a color on the eye. I love it. Like the quality, oh my gosh.
it would be so difficult for me to rank all these palettes towards the end of the year i cannot even fathom around it i also do have a code with ensley rain it's smithy sony to save you 10 percent off i am an affiliate with the brand and i thank you very very much if you use my code but that's all for today guys if you did like this video you know what to do do give it a thumbs up do let me know in the comment section below out of the three looks today which one was your favorite but that's all for today i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys